All these years, we transitioned from Yom HaZikaron to Yom HaTzmaut in one minute. But so many families, that transition is so difficult. We're in a year that we could all feel what that means to transition, to be in pain and then change. Some a lot more than others, but still, we could feel it. What does that mean? That means that we could get closer to each other. We could understand better. We could feel better. And that's what we have to do this year. Just look at the prophecies that are happening in front of us. Look at the Chayalim, or all together. Doesn't matter who they are, where they are. Look at the Jews all over the world, coming, getting on planes, trying to do whatever they just can in order to be part, not living their day-to-day -day life. You look at that and you say, I'm Israel Chai. That's the perspective we need to take in all what we're doing. And that's the perspective we took this year. Missions, joining, being part, we are Am Yisrael Chai. We're living it and we're going to continue pushing forward till we see the full redemption. We begin with terrifying developments in the we Middle East that could change out of Israel this morning. Where Hamas a thousand has Hamas terrorists poured across the Israeli border. Rain down on southern Israel. The music festival. Hundreds of people have been injured. Deadliest escalation of violence in decades. As a Israel, we are in war. לא בסבבים, במלחמה. Israel called a record 360,000 reservists to active duty. So people around the world are now stepping up to get as many of them to Israel as quickly as possible. What does it say on these suitcases right here? It means that the Jewish nation is not scared. Israel is a country that has come together in an extraordinary way to help to support this effort. I need to stand up and to help my people, to help my country. Joy in the midst of war. This bride and groom got married and just came them. to dance with us and make us feel so happy. Well, in just 24 hours, over 300 duffel bags of much needed supplies have been sent to Israel. We literally have thousands and thousands of people giving. Whatever we can do, we will do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Israel. There's a non-stop flow of people dropping everything they are doing to help their brothers and sisters in Israel. It's an amazing sight to see. Thank you, Pnei Akiva. Love you so much. They're feeling your hug and feeling your love, and it's just unbelievable. There is no other nation in the world that has each other's backs like the committed to the state of Israel's sacred pledge. The state of Israel will go to the ends of the earth to bring our people home to safety. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment? It can be, depending on the context. We begin with the students at Columbia University who have inspired pro-Palestinian demonstrations across the country. Then they pound on the doors, threatening Jewish students who have sought sanctuary locking themselves inside. How do you respond? You love more. You love Jews deeper. You are not alone. Stand tall. Tens of thousands of people are gathering at Washington, D.C.'s National Mall this afternoon for the March for Israel. Expect route. significant delays into Washington, D.C. as people make their way to the National Mall. the shadow of the U.S. Capitol, a dramatic show of solidarity, the largest pro-Israel demonstration in the U.S. We're here to stand up for our people, stand up for our family back home. The Empire State Building. Miami. The Downing Street. The World Trade Center. The Sydney Opera House. The Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. The Eiffel Tower. The EU headquarters. The Buenos Aires. For Israel. And even the White House. My beloved brother. Clarence, let me tell you something. We're gonna run your ad during the Super Bowl. When we stand up to silence, we stand up to all hate. I think you should always be proud of what you believe in. I wanted to teach young Jewish kids that you don't have to give up on who you are. My grandparents, they didn't have the platforms that we have today to amplify their message. Representing us with pride and showing our voice, it's truly such an honor. Who we are is not defined by who hates us, it's defined by who we love. From that comes all of our strength. The Israeli people are the strongest people in the world. When we are united, we are invincible. Do not lose sight of why you are a Jew, to be a blessing to others. Am Yisrael is at his best. And when Am Yisrael is at his best, we're going to see that redemption happening in front of us. And that's what we're celebrating this Yom Atzimah.